Hey guys, it's Rhea here at allofourhomes.com and today we want to share with you our Montessori inspired activities for air. This unit goes well with our land, water, and air unit and we also have an oceans unit and a continents unit for water and land. So for our first tray for this unit, we talked about cicadas because they fly in the air. And we just had hit our 17 year um, cicada cycle out here in the mid Atlantic. And so we had so many cicada shells and we're exploring cicadas. So this cicada I got from a minifigure set and I will link all of this information in the free printables in the description box below through our blog post. Um, and here we just talked about a cicada and we found this um, life cycle of a cicada three part card series that we printed out um, and used this. Now my son is not able to read quite yet but he does recognize his letters, so he could see that the shape for eggs, you know, with the letter E matched the other E. And in this next tray, we have a balloon, a straw, string, and tape. And for this, it, you create a sort of balloon rocket. And this is something that I found in another Montessori mom kit. Um, and we sort of hack this one, but you just slide a straw over a piece of string and you tie the string to two chairs on either end. And then you fill the balloon with air and when you let go it slides across like a rocket. And then this next tray has to do with boats and sails. Here you'll need corks, rubber bands, uh, toothpicks, a straw, and um, I would actually not use paper. We use paper for the sails, but if you have some sort of foam or maybe laminated paper that's waterproof, that would work a little bit better for this activity. Um, but you could put these boats in water and then use the straw to uh, have them move around with the air. We also use this in our sensory table, which is great, and you can set up a kiddie pool for that too. And we were inspired by Montessori by Mom to do this activity, and if you can afford to purchase a subscription box or if you're planning on doing more extensive homeschooling, I think that would be a great option. This next tray focused on addition and math. My son was showing some interest in that, and so I created this tray um, with the loosely themed on clouds. So we used a spinner that we got from a shoots and ladders game that we already had, but you could easily use a dice or just rotate the numbers out as you please. For the first two containers, we just used the numbers one through five, and then in the, the last one, we had uh, one through 10 for whatever they would add up to. So with this, you use white beans to represent the clouds, and these are just dried white beans, but you could use cotton balls or anything that you have. And you pick the first number with the spinner, um, and then the second number with the spinner, and then count out the beans for each of those numbers, and then the bean total is what you would add that up to. And then in our craft activity tray, we have a uh, making of a cicada. So you'll cut out these pieces in advance and then provide a popsicle stick and um, some glue for your little one to assemble it. You could easily substitute a butterfly for this and you could also do the life cycle of a butterfly if you don't have cicadas in your region. And then the next tray is to um, explore different wind instruments. So my friend who is a music teacher will probably laugh at how I'm calling all of these uh, wind instruments, but um, here we have a harmonica. I also was pointing out a recorder. Um, we provided a whistle and then this birthday blower and a um, this hedgehog accordion that we had gotten as a gift. All of those use air and so it's just a fun way to explore the idea of air through instruments. And this book, Air is All Around You, is a fantastic book to have in your library at home. My son is in Montessori school right now, and they actually just read this book for his class. So um, it also includes some experiments so that you can learn about air. So in addition to reading the book, you can follow along and do some of the experiments that they propose in the book with your child. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week. Thanks for stopping by our home.